Hey there. Now we're smack dab in the middle of the GHS brightness bar with boomers, one of my favorite kinds of strings. We've made the transition from smoother, darker, mellower sounding strings into the world of round wounds. Of course, guys like uh, Chris Squire, John Entwistle really popularized this sound. Uh, and it's definitely, we're moving into the world of rock and roll. Boomers have got that edge that we all love to hear on a good rock and bass line. You can hear the you can hear the edge on it, you can hear the articulation. The fundamental is there, but it's a little more subdued. The overtones are coming out because with the round wound strings you're really hearing metal on metal up here high on the neck. Mm -hmm. But you can play them soft and still get a mellow tone. But when you dig in, they really bark. These strings have been on this bass for a little while, and they really haven't lost their edge. There's times where you want to have new strings every time you do a gig. It really depends on your musical surroundings. A big part of your choice of strings is going to be fitting into what you're hearing around you. If it's a mellow singer-songwriter gig, the kind of strings we've already talked about, flat wounds, bright flats, pressure wounds, are going to sit in there real nice and they're not going to command too much attention. When you're in a more aggressive mode with rock and roll, drummers bashing cymbals, guitar players with tons of high end, you've got to cut through. And that's where round wound strings really make a difference. Boomers are a real standard in the bass world. Uh, I know Flea's been playing them for years and can't, can't knock that. Um, I really like the edge that they have. I like the way they get when they've had a little bit of time on the bass. They mellow out just a little bit. But they will last a long time. A uh, tip that is especially important with round wound strings is to, when you finish playing, get a cloth and wipe your strings, but don't forget to get underneath them too because that moisture is hanging in the bottom of these little pits that you have from, from the round wound, uh, the winding, instead of having the smoother strings. So you've got to be a little more vigilant in terms of keeping your strings fresh. But uh, to me, this is the classic round wound string. We're going to go even a little further uh, up the brightness bar using some other strings that are made of different materials that you have even a little more edge but as a great starting place to a bass that you've just got you want to try something out to see where you are boomers are a great center point and that's exactly where they are in the GHS brightness bar <laughs>